hang up and try again. Hey gang, Steve here. I uh, just wanted to give you a little update because I haven't done anything on this channel for a while and I said earlier that I was going to start some more rants. But first I'll just give you a little bit of an update. It's summer. Um, yeah, just working along. Lots of events happening around the area locally here. Uh, function with our Firefighters Pro Rodeo, which is actually happening Friday, Saturday. Um, of this week, which happens to be the 9th and 10th of July. Um, but the parade, back to the parade. Now I have to get up on my soapbox here. This is a little bit of a rant, I guess. Um, there was probably like 18 to 20,000 people that come for this parade, which should last about three hours, but is like six and a half hours long because everybody in their lawn tractor are in it. And my rant is, if you go to a parade and bring your children, which there were probably about 15,000 out of the 20,000 children there, and if you know me personally, you know how I feel about children to begin with. But unruly children that are not watched by their parents and they're under the age of like, oh, I don't know, five, um, become a hazard to society, especially with moving motor vehicles and children plus candy equals somebody's going to get run over. Um, I was driving an ambulance, which you'd think um, would caution you from running out in front of it. But, you know, you figure if you get run over, then you'll just get help right away. Um, I guess that's what their train of thought was, but uh, there's a policy in the parade where you're not supposed to throw candy from a moving vehicle, which probably, oh, I don't know, nobody abides by. So the people in front of me on this hay wagon, um, drinking beer, I might add, chucking candy um, to the crowd, people were chucking lots of things yesterday, popsicles, which were melted and cut open, um, candy, uh, items, frisbees, jump ropes, whatever you have. Um, some people were responsible. The people behind us were responsible. They had people walking and handing things out. They weren't chucking anything that could cause head injuries to anybody. But uh, the candy, chucking, whatever, and it would be nice if they chucked it to the curb where the kids were, but as the parade goes on, the kids get closer and closer and closer to the middle of the street. Um, so eventually you have a path that you can pretty much just walk through when you have to get a vehicle through there. Um, parents not calling their kids back to the curb. People on the floats are telling the kids to back up so they don't get run over, which is pretty much something you shouldn't have to tell people if they see a car coming. They should get out of the way automatically. But, you know, candy pollutes the brain. Um, so that's all they're thinking about. So if you're going to a parade, which there's lots of summer left, so there's probably lots of parades left, and you're bringing children, keep them out of the road. They're going to get run over. And if I'm driving the ambulance, you're gonna have to call 911 and then I'll be pretty pissed off and then I'm gonna come and tell you what I think as I'm stopping the bleeding. At least I'm gonna help. Anyway, that's my rant about parades. If you have a rant you want to hear about, leave it in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.